Hi, John here. Uh, today is Tuesday the 10th of January 2017. There's some complaints about my volume um, being too low. I'll have to get a, uh, a microphone to hook into the camera and work that lot out because it's a Canon camera and I'm speaking just straight to the camera. I usually use the microphone here on the cam, but um, I found that the Canon is working quite well, but I'll try and sort that out on the next videos. Now I want to carry on with the letter I'm writing to the Waitangi um, National Trust um, Cultural Manager Murray Rapana and um, the Waitangi Marae itself for the occasion the 6th of February 2017. I see that the Deputy Leader Paula Bennett will be going so we'll be there for that um, with her being in there in the government and the Navy uh, with the Whakameninga Chiefs. Uh, so we're arranging all of that now. There's 21 day notice from today. I've got four videos going including this one on the event and our intentions from the Whakaminia native surname chiefs. That's apart from Māori is a different entity or corporate business entity with the iwi as to Māori King William IV direct connected to the um, King William III of Orange Borough Councils uh, authority as well tied in with the King William IV title to Admiralty Court Martial Law and this flag. Okay, It's the flag that we have livened up on the 15th of April 2016 inside Waitangi Marae with Chief Kingi Taurua um, as the commercial landowner. Okay, There's a difference on native landowner can't sell lands. In this case it's Captain Clendon, who bought the land from Chief Paumare II and Chief Paumare I and Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere Manukau, 1830. So 1834, Captain Clendon bought land at Okiato village in Kororareka. He bought land. When he bought land, he had sale and purchase agreements direct from Britain on copyright watermark official office of government of Britain paper. Now that's the only paper you you had to write on and the Treaty of Waitangi was written on paper but it was altered. It was altered. We're treating it as fraud and a no end date contract on that document with the New Zealand Crown Government. Bill English you are continuing a legacy of Panama Papers fraud that John Key has resigned his position as Prime Minister of New Zealand from and has run off and left the mess for you. Now you're caught up, you're liable, each of you are liable in joinder as third party to this flag. It's not dead. You legislated it out from the Confederation of Chiefs of the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag of the um, agreement between the Chiefs and King William of that date, the 28th of October, 1835. And then you altered it. You altered all the documents, the Littlewood Treaty, you altered it as well, that had Clendon's signature on it, and James Busby altered that one. It was supposed to go to America, but you put it to yourself, New South Wales government. You're liable, because I'm accusing you all on this video as proof of claim, my video against your video and your face in blood, fresh and blood. Has to refute my affidavit video, not written documents, because there can be altered or mistakes in it, not a video. Videos don't have mistakes. What I say goes. My word, Bill English, 
against your word and your title to my authority of Admiralty Court Martial Law and Admiralty Financial Martial Law that will bill you with the pound note. The Moai, King William, fourth pound note. Now, King William III created the Bank of England and the St. Patrick's eight-point star on this flag order of borough councils to collect money on behalf of the parliament that he created in Westminster. We're using that authority on King Itaurua Chief's land in Waitangi and Kiti land blocks. I've got the titles here, Bill, English. You have to show me your titles inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court hearing on the 6th of February. We've turned it back into its court that you're using. You're usurping our King's flag for your financial investment interests and not the financial interests, investment interests of the Moai Hapu chiefs and the public of New Zealand. You're cutting their money off through the eight-point star on this flag in the four corners of the earth. You're usurping St. Patrick's order in council, local councils, collecting money on behalf of the King's Bench Court and the King's Royal Revenue. You're using your Queen's Bench Court in Titi Marae, where the Maori Confederation sits with you. They've got a job to take all the land off you because it's got Maori title on it, Bill English, and you've screwed them. You've screwed all the natives here and all the natives around the world with that blueprint native title. In Australia, Bill English, I stopped the governor of Queensland from using Queen Victoria as their oath of office. It's on video. I'm using it in the courts. It's evidence admissible in the High Court in London and my court case in Auckland District Court. The judge says to my barrister, after my barrister says to him, John wants to say something. And the judge said, there's no need, it's all on YouTube. That's what I'm saying, Bill. I'll take that as being evidence. He used that evidence statement of videos. He's watching, and you're watching this video. Whatever I say goes. You get the bill, Bill English. I'm making public statements that your gag order can't tamper with. You can't tamper with any documents I put online and videos because I'm using this higher authority than your Vice Admiral authority with no Queen. You have no Queen, Bill English. You're fooling the people of New Zealand because that's what I said to the judge. You got no Queen when I came out of prison um, as um, unwarranted arrest, um, unauthorised arrest. All right? I'm, I'm going to go build the whole lot of them, 41 people involved in that arrest of me with King William on my shirt and my hat, seal, authority and coat of arms, Bill English. I also got King William III's Bank of England acts in his acts of Westminster 1832-1837 right on top of you pirates. I'm calling you pirates. You have to deny that I'm calling you a pirate. You have to make a video, Bill English, and put it in front of the whole world watching on YouTube. Okay, that's what I'm saying. My word, Bill English, against your word. You're covering the fraud of John Key and his bank, Cabal, Elite, Lucifer, Illuminatis, Bilderbergs. Okay? I'm saying these right flat out in front of you. Why you won't come to Waitangi and going to stay away ignorant, just like Māori, ignorant of their power to get out of the Māori into the Moai. We're going to see on the 21st of this month, up in Pangaru, Waipuna Marae, to see which side of the fence Māori are. I've got four, and myself, that makes five, and Jamie Patrick, with the surname Patrick, 
eight point stock in the Maui realm of authority of a king. And we'll see how many other Maori are going to switch in that Maori or stay with Maori. They're locked in a contract with you, Bill, and that big pound note debt instrument. One billion trillion pound note debt on your head, Bill. And you have to pay whatever you've got in your bank, and the rest goes to your boss, the Queen Elizabeth, and the Rothschild Bank, and the rest of everybody I've named in those levy debtor instruments against you. We are the creditor. This is the creditor. Sheriff. Bill English, I'm telling you to your face that you've got away with it right up to now. All of you are linked as third party to a two party contract between the Whakamininga native surname chiefs and King William III, Bank of England, uh, Orange Council in Plymouth borough to Porirua borough council. See, you see, I've got you. You have to tell me where you get your authority from, Bill English. You can't say you got it from here because we're going to take it off you if you did that. Because you haven't told anybody where you get your authority from. Where do you get your seal from Westminster from? Because the Queen's gone. She ain't there in your Supreme Court. She's gone. So you're using some sort of authority. We're using the Maui Statue Authority and King William's Memorial Statue Authority and King William III Bank of England. That's why we print the pound note on your head, Bill English, because we have the legal right to do that. King Itaurua, Chief, is the oldest man on Titi and Waitangi landlocks. There's nothing anybody can do about that because it's commercial. He's a commercial land owner above everyone else, whether they are natives or not. We have the titles of the native titles on those lands at Waitangi. The Ututonga land title is in my possession, Bill English, not Ngāti Kawa or anybody else younger than us. In Tikanga law, the older people rule, not the younger people. And the older people with more knowledge and technology than the younger peoples that are talking in your crown side. Queen Elizabeth fraudster side and Obama and all the scam going on in America with gagging orders. You've got gagging orders too, Bill English. You've got all the laws, that many laws. King William and Maui Crown have only 19 A4 pages of laws and acts from 1830 to 1837 to squash you all and destroy all your laws, one shot, Bill English, because those are the original laws that got you on these lands. You ignorant people cannot acknowledge this flag when Prince William came here. He says, where's the flag? You see, because he can't take it either. He's liable because he's on the Queen's bloodline side. He's not on King William's side and Ernest Augustus, the real, legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, Commonwealth of the World. That's who our King is, Bill English. We're going there, these native surname chiefs are going there with me, the sheriff, to put him in to Plymouth, in the King William III of Orange County, borough, to collect the money off you lot in Porirua where you've set up that eight point star of St. Patrick, Jamie Patrick is my secretary, private secretary of the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company registered in London. You see, that's the company that's billing you, Bill English, with the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head. That's the Queen's bill we're giving to Paula Bennett for you, she gets it too, but you get it from me and Kingi Tauru Chief. No one can stop him from talking on those lands, Bill English, not even the native people. 
because he's a native as well, but I'm talking commerce. I'm talking the commercial contracts of where you got it from, where you get your authority from, to run your parliament and government, from whose authority? You have to tell us whose authority you get it from. Less than a king. Okay? I got three kings. King George the Third, the father of King William the Fourth, and King George the Fourth. And we've got an extra. We've got the eight point star King William the Third of Orange, County, Borough in Plymouth, Devon, Port, England. That's where we're going to set up the native court there after Waitangi to connect the two together in the borough, straight into Waitangi and straight out into all the other boroughs in this country under the dual government of Britain, UK, Maui, Crown, Commonwealth Government of the World, Federal State. Okay, you got that? Did you get that? They're watching. The British Navy is watching you behave with gagging orders. We don't have gagging orders. Not, no such thing. We don't have pirates orders and hanging in chains at, and execution orders for people who break our laws. This time around, Bill, these laws have been passed through Waitangi Marae on the 15th of April 2016 last year and the flag was legalised in that court hearing with Kingi Tauru, Chief, and the business opened up for trade in 250 countries. On that day, we went through that ritual. All those things were on videos in Titi Marae, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, before the 6th of February, and including the 6th of February in 2016, for that day, for on Mikey Hill in Kororareka, Tupi, Jim, Wikotu put the flag up and the same put it upside down on Waitangi treaty grounds. Right? He's going to put it up the right way this time because no more distress. That's the Maori's interest first, but not the Maui. The Maui is the memorial to the land, the mana whenua to the land of English. You're standing on, you got here from somebody's authority. It had to be a king, not a queen. A king got you on the land. So I'm just telling you, I want to finish off this letter I wrote to Mori Rapana in Te, te Kawa um, uh, in Waitangi Marae, in Te Ti Marae, and it reads, I just want to finish it off because I've got three videos out and this is the fourth one. I understand the protocols of Waitangi Marae and await your response and or phone call from you to Ngāti Kawa, appreciated Kingi Toto is expected to be there with me as an advisory to Willie Pater, Jim Wekotu and other notable Komatua, Tomata Komatua. As far as I can see as of today, Willie Pater led the Whakameninga Tomata or Ngā Puhi Hapu from his Otawa Marae in Hokianga down to Whakatangi, where chiefs from 38 Ngā Puhi Marae travel by cars to Matatua Marae on Muriwai drive bottom of town towards the hands in Fakatani on Friday the 7th and Hui on 8th of October 2016. By the way, Paul Hepa Epiha ran that Hui from Ngāpui. Okay, I just want to say that. And uh, I attended that Hui with my private secretary, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick, before going to Amaya village, opening of a new orchard on our Hapu land block after that Matatua Hui with Jamie Anna Marie Patrick. It appears, certainly appears to be organised from Otawa Marae, according to Willie Pater, and now at Waipuna Marae in Pangaru on the 21st of January 2017 before Waitangi Day, 6th of February 2017 at 4 a.m. in the morning with Chief Kingi Taurua, me as his customary legal advocate and Native Land Commissioner, Crown, my Crown Bank creditor. I am confident this is what I have been involved with on his marae with Rangitera as being the closest you will get to the Whakameninga in my 20 plus years going to Waitangi with Kingi Taurua to back me. I'm saying that um, uh, we are um, going through this as a traditional matter after 183 years um, of this flag existence since the British first got here legally and legitimately through King William IV. I will be there to assist in land law, historic, trade and development side of legal meaning of commercial contracts inside this 1834 Whakameninga flag as commercial contract 1834 declaration of war flag, that's what it is, 
a sovereign authority, the self-government authority of an internationally recognized trade convention locked in the United Nations and Westminster Parliament with the legal status established. This flag is established already in Westminster and its statute laws. It's extant forevermore locked in there. That flag is a British flag, okay? We have the authority of the British um, Bill English. We are, we're using it now. We've got the authority to use it after the 16th of April 2016. That's what happened. My Maori the Maori government, Prime Minister Sunakora, will present her Maori Confederation of Chiefs Authority to Bill, Prime Minister Bill English after the Maori Crown Native Suriname Chiefs have concluded their Whakamininga Native Court hearing with the Prime Minister Honourable Bill English and Chief of New Zealand Navy John Martin and Governor General Her Excellency Pat C. Reedy, who will turn up in the court if they fail to show then they will be in a default contract with the Whakamininga Native Suriname Chiefs on the Waitangi Marae Native Court records to the British Navy Chief to recover the debts owed to the British Admiralty Court, King William III and Fourth at Plymouth Courthouse in the King William III of Orange County District Sheriff and Whakamininga Chiefs Sheriff custody to seize on the Queen's Bench Court King's Prize possessions, land, property, bank accounts, business, license, permits, and St. Patrick's Order title ownership inheritance, and the Queen Victoria Trust, 1 million metric tons of gold plus recovered by the British military and sheriffs of the county's boroughs. We're using that eight point star of St. Patrick as our authority under the Queen King William III of Orange title holding and the Bank of England holdings to print the pound money and bill you lot. My Crown emailed the my pound note levy debtors instruments to ex-Prime Minister John Key just before he left as the first offender, Queen Elizabeth and her Crown corporations listed in the levy debtors bill charge advertised on Facebook as admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty, London, inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court on Chief Kingi Taurua ancestral land and once back now be turned to him in this grand jury court hearing inside the Waitangi House on 6th of February 2017. We are expecting John Key to attend as first offender of the Panama Papers, corruption and fraud bank transactions and for treason, abusing this King William IV Admiralty Law of the City Jurisdiction, a third party to Maui Crown King William IV Trust and Mahatua Iwa, Aotea Limited, New Zealand Registered Company, Corporate Company, and Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited, Registered Corporate Company, creditors as second party to King William IV private contract with the British Navy Chief Philip Jones, first party to Prime Minister Debt, Debt Instruments made legal on the 15th of April 2016 inside the Waitangi Treaty House, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Court in front of the Maui Crown Chief's Grand Jury. Okay, we had the Grand Jury there. The Whakamininga warns John Key that he has been reported to the British Prime Minister Theresa May and Secretary of Defence Michael Fallon and our commercial private contract legal partner Philip, Sir Philip Jones, Chief of British UK Navy, that resigned, that the resigned Prime Minister John Key is a high-risk criminal bank fraudster who broke, breached, corrupted, defrauded the New Zealand Crimes Act 1961 and 1951 and abused our Maui Crown Hapu Native Chiefs King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law flag, jurisdiction of sovereign authority and bank instruments for his own elite family's private financial investment interests against the Hapu and citizens of New Zealand land and natural resources public and commercial financial investment interests as a direct conflict of interest. The Chiefs also accused John Key of treason and corruption of the justice system here in New Zealand and Britain, UK and the Commonwealth countries, trade in TPPA and illegal third party contracts that violate our Maui Hapu contract with Britain, UK. John Key was notified while he was still the Prime Minister before he left three or four days before he left 
I notified him and the British of our intent to build. Prime Minister Bill English can now, that we can legally use now to make accountable those who cannot refute our creditors' information as was applied in the Auckland District Court, John Wanoa versus New Zealand Police. Where New Zealand Crown failed to produce evidence against the Moai King William IV, substantial land title evidence, proof of claim, 77 Cook Street, in fact, there is no credible evidence in any court that can come up against the Maui Crown King William IV jurisdiction of Admiralty can challenge. You cannot challenge this title, this title, this title, this title of Maui seal, and this title of King William III and King William Admiralty flag. Anchor. Shibaji flag and our Maui flag and the 1834 Declaration of War flag and the British flag, government flag, okay? You can't refute any of this coat of arms of Hanover, coat of arms of the four kings, <coughs> King William IV, King Ernest Augustus I, and King George the fourth brothers and their father, King George the Third. You can't refute that's on here. King of Hanover. 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 Coat of arms. You can't refute it, John Key, because you got here on all of this and this. And the police woman, Natalie Flower Jew Brown, stole the shirt off me. It's still in police custody as my evidence, sitting in the Auckland courthouse, o Auckland police station, central police station. My shirt has all this on. I had to make another one because they confiscated it as evidence against me. I'm using it as evidence against them to convict over 5,000 police in New Zealand, a trillion pounds each. Don't laugh because that's just figures that are stacked up against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note that's on all of you heads, right through the elite, 1% of you. Okay, Bill English, oh, I said that, I am yet to see my, I am yet to see any challenge. I have the confidence of the Whakamininga, native surname chiefs, Kiwi Tauru, as one of the commercial landowners of Waitangi and Titi landlocks. Manahi Parapari, Ma Manahi Parapara Mohini, the JP, Justice of the Peace, as native assessor, judge, Bunny, Bun, Bunny Waitai as Native Assessor, Grand Jury Head, and Tupi Jim Wikotu as a Native Assessor, and 1834 Clendon British Land Title Transfer from Chief Tera Waikato, Whareherehere Manaka, and Chief Bomare II on the 20th of March 1834 at Tororareka, Okiato, Native Court. Captain James Reddy Clendon as land conveyancing lawyer and magistrate to King William IV, King of England, Britain, UK, Northern Ireland, Scotland and England, UK. Please note that the Maori Hapu and its 1993 Te Kiri Whenua Act has no bearing on the Maui Crown, King William IV title. Chief of Matatua Waka Jim Toku Topi Wikotu is the 1834 flag bearer to align the British UK flag with the Whakamininga flag placed at the top of the British Ship of Admiralty next to the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court House in the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. The Maori Native surname chiefs now exercise their common commercial land title ownership of Titi and Waitangi Native lands using this Admiralty, Admiralty Court Martial Law as a King William IV commercial private contract date setting hearing on Waitangi Day. Sincerely, John Wanoa, Director of the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court, 1834 Whakamininga Native Court Hearing, Legal Advisor and Organiser, 020 phone. Authorised by Chief Kingi Taurua of Ngāti Rahiri Hapu to Mori, Mori Rapana and his email. This is a short URL in Daily Motion video. That's one video. Queen 
Elizabeth II, reigning monarch and Prime Minister Theresa May, British Navy Chief Sir Philip Jones, Secretary of Defence Michael Fallon, and John Key, ex-Prime Minister, Prime Minister Bill English, Governor General Patsy Reedy, Jerry Matapurao. That's the end. Okay, I've got a photo of King Itaudu with the flag and his kōrāwai and his face and his signature. He signs all the documents that I put together right through the 20 plus years I've been with him. Okay, I can attest to that and he can attest to this as being the oldest chief on that land and those two marais to speak as native and to speak as a commercial land owner. He is the first right of claim to a Queen Victoria Trust because he is a descendant, blood DNA descendant, direct of King Edward II and the other King Edwards to Queen Victoria herself, bloodline. Okay, so he is in the right commercial position to talk commercially. But I'm there for him to cover him as power of attorney with anything he doesn't know. I have all of that for him and the title. To the Waitangi land blocks. No one can refute. Even if you have your business on it, your crown corporations have your business on top of the land. That's right because we'll bill you for the use of those lands in land rent from the land rent chief, Kingi Todo and his native surname chiefs. The same goes for the land from anywhere else we're seizing. At Lottom Point, the motel, we're seizing. We're seizing the lands inside the Portikirua Kiwaiapu boundary area of Uataha. We're seizing any land inside that boundary with this flag and this hat and this authority straight from Britain and the British Navy are obligated or ordered to come here to seize everything with us because they're our partners. They have the legal partnership to that pound note in ownership with us in dual government. That's on my Facebook site as well as the Maori Powerhouse Group Limited website. Okay, so that I've, I'm glad now I've finished this four part video off for our evidence to the High Court of Admiralty in London and to the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court in front of a grand jury of four native surname chiefs and King Itaudua chief and myself sheriff and Kami Patrick of the Eight Point Star here, Patrick, St. Patrick's Order of the Borough Councils in Plymouth Courthouse. We're going there to put the flag up after Waitangi, up the top, and go with that ship and put it up in Plymouth Courthouse and sit up on William Yard in the William the Third Orange County under his authority straight to King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, right there. So we're sitting up, we'll get a building and start our government in there, our dual government there to here, right through the world. Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World. I have that on script on our Maui Powerhouse Dot com website. You'll see it there. That's the government set up that we're using with the acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837. That's it. Nothing's going to be altered. It's those raw laws we're using for the Bank of England and the Coins Minting Act and the Printing Bell Note Act and the Hanging in Chains Act and Execution of Criminals Act. So beware. You get a power note on your head if you tamper with any information that I have on Facebook or any videos or any uttering of words that looks like these. I notice a lot of people are writing in capital letters now because they used to say, don't do that. Well, it's busted your corporation's use of capital words as another fake person. They get the bill too. We find who that person is in real from my birth certificate. That, I've got that court case coming up where the court 
let me go, dismiss the case. I didn't even go in court to have my hearing. They just dismissed all the other offenders and threw me in that lot when I said I got my own court case. So I still got to have my own court case with me. At least they are due down inside the Auckland District Court to string her up with a trillion pound note on your head. You should be back from Solomon Islands now, Natalie Val Du Brown, TIB detective. You should be back now of what you did in my house. You took my clothes off me, stripped me, and went and locked me up. What for? You see? Because your judge still went ahead and took the money from my birth certificate. That's what I've got a bone to pick with you because you signed all those documents and the judge used them to go and rake money out of the other John Wanoa. I want to find who the other John Wanoa. And you, Shannon Withers, barrister, you're getting the bill too. You've got a trillion pound on your head too for saying to me, it doesn't matter or Pope Francis' laws doesn't apply here. It really does under this flag. It really does because we're legal to use it on you for tampering with my information and didn't have my court case. You helped those other offenders get off their case with my citations and my information I gave you and my other lawyer I gave it to too. Right? I gave it to several people so you can't get out of it. That's what I'm saying. I'm disappointed with these police are so corrupt and the lawyers and the judges are corrupted. I'm, I'm, I'm had enough. Kingy's had enough. And those Maori people cannot go at this level to talk like a king and act like a king and wear his clothes. That you people arrested me, unlawfully arrested me with the king's authority all over me. Eh? I just wanted to see what you would do with me and caught you in the fraud. And John Key ran away from his fraud. He, no, you're not going to get away with this. You're not going to get away with this, John Key. You're plugged. The sheriffs will be after you. I don't have to do it. We've got a power note to go and pay people to do it in any country. Right? The Navy has to go to any country with this power note against all the offenders' heads. A trillion pound on each offender's heads. It's just a figure that falls short of to you, 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Now I'll just finish off this video because um, I need to get these emails away to the people. In particular, Jim Wikotu, Kingi Tauru, Bundy Waitai, Manahi Parapara Mohini, and Jamie uh, for a start. Then Bill English, um, Paula Bennett, um, Patsy Reedy, Governor General, and to Theresa May, uh, Prime Minister of uh, Britain, UK. And um, uh, Philip Jones, uh, Sir Philip Jones, the Navy Chief, our partner, our legal business partner, because he shares in the spoils too. And the British tax taxes all of this as well. Until we get our own set up over there at the moment, they have a right to um, payment of storing the gold in the Philippines and uh, Duterte, Rodriguez Duterte. I want to talk to you because you should be getting paid from the gold you're storing over there belongs to us. That's our property from Queen Victoria Trust through the trustees, Queen Elizabeth trustee, King and Queen of Spain trustee. The king is dead now, so his son has taken over his king title, Philippi, has taken over with his queen wife, but they are not trustees. They are not trustees. You only got Imelda as trustee. She's still alive of this fraudulent Queen Elizabeth, we're going to sack her and you lot and Prince Andrew for defrauding our trust. We are the beneficiaries of that trust. We are the beneficiaries of that trust still. It's still going. We're still getting the benefits. I'm still getting my gold card benefit from it. So beware. Don't tamper with our financial investment interest because you get a pound note on your head. Anyway, this 970 million trillion trillion pound note is over all that gold, the million, the million metric tons of gold, and most of it in the Philippines, in Hawaii, in Switzerland, in the Vatican, in London, and other places in the world. 
that gold belongs to our trust. The Queen Victoria Trust and the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. And its inheritor, King Ernest Augustus the fifth and his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus. Okay? That's our king. He's got a stake in this. He's got a stake in this. And so do we. The Moai people. Not the Maori people. The Moai people. So the Maori would have to switch sides and choose on the 21st before we go into Waitangi or on Titi Marae on the 4th and the 5th they have to decide, decide which side of the fence they're on. They're on Kingi's side with Maui or they're on Bill English's side with Maui. Simple as that. Okay? Two different contracts. Two different contracts. Queen, fraudulent, Cabell, or King, mortgage free. Queen takes all of you over a half trillion dollars deep in New Zealand. That's your bill. Maui doesn't have a bill. He only has checkbook or pound note levy instruments against anybody who offends these laws. Okay, so one more time, I'm just going to my Facebook site. I've just posted John Key wanted in the pound note below his face in public view internationally on my site. 80 sites altogether. On Facebook. There's 80 of Moai John Wano sites on Facebook with information right through them. That's since 2007 I've been on Facebook. But this one billion trillion pound note is sitting right there with the two chiefs, Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manakao and Honi Heka on that pound note. With the gold dragon, that's the gold, the million plus metric tons of gold sitting right there under the St. Patrick's order, King William IV, King William III of Orange, council, borough council title. Okay, so you've got the ship of Admiralty there and <coughs> that power note as levy debtor instrument against you, Bill English, or it's against John Key. And that comes out of that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Every country, 250 countries are going to with this flag. We're going this to with this flag from Waitangi on the 6th of February 2017 this year. We're going to Plymouth to put the flag up over there. And the new king of Britain, UK, there, on that estate land in Orange, with the borough council in the courthouse in Plymouth, and the memorial in Devon Port, Naval Base, that's where our office is set up there in the courthouse in the local government borough council in Plymouth and the sheriffs. I'll be there as sheriff in an equal capacity as sheriff in Britain with me right through the world. That's the Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the world and King Ernest Augustus V, Rainy Maui, right there. He's obligated to come in there to take his place and his title into Westminster from there. That's higher than anything else in the world. The highest court in the world, native court in the world, is Waitangi Marae. That's where the fraudulent Queen has been operating her corrupted business with the Governor Generals here, selling all the lands here. Maori lands, they created Maori for themselves. They talk to themselves in the mirror. Not anymore. Not with Moai there and King William there, and Orange, and Eight Point Star. Eight Point Star, St. Patrick's Order, New World Order, is our inheritance title. King's Royal Revenue, in the courthouse in Plymouth Borough Council. Got that? That's the reality, Matt Taylor. I know you can't hear my videos because the volume is so low. I'll try and get something better than the limited amount of stuff I've got here, but that's how it comes out. You'll have to get some megaphones to get that out of it. You have to turn the volume up on the video itself and the volume on your computer right to the top to get to hear anything. That's the way it is. That's the way it came out because there's nobody doing it but myself. I only do it once and 
not edit it or anything, just carry on. It's the video itself that I care about as being my word said. Now we've got the power note there under that and the gag order. I've got some information on the gag order and Prime Minister Bill English, John Key, Barack Obama, checkmated on 6th of February 2017. You're checkmated. Okay? So whether Trump goes in as uh, the new president is another matter because he's in all that elite club 